All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants. Another free agent film breakdown, the eighth one of the free agency season. And we're looking at nose tackle number 71, Justin Ellis. And this was a huge need for the New York Giants, a huge need. They had essentially no, they had no nose tackle besides David Moa on the roster, a practice squad player. So needed this to get some familiarity with Wink Martindale. Played 35% of the snaps for him last year, 40% of the snaps uh, the previous season. So... I, w- I went through this uh, this Vikings game where he plays 70% of the snaps and then went through a game where he played 30% of the snaps versus the Packers to kind of get a good idea of who he is. And he's a guy who's going to eat double teams. That's going to be his job is to eat double teams, uh, stop you know linemen from getting the linebackers and not giving up ground. In the pass game, he's not going to add you anything as a pass rusher. Even in the run game, he's going to eat double teams, but he's not going to make like you know wowing plays on one-on-one blocks. That's just not what he's going to do. But for the contract that he's on, this is a good value signing at a huge need for the New York Giants. Before we break down the film, like, subscribe, check out the free, share the free agent playlist. Like I really think the free agent playlist every year is a valuable uh, asset for Giants fans because we get these free agents. We like, oh, what you know, you just kind of look at some stats. I feel like these free agent film breakdowns give people realistic expectations for who the guys they're gonna get. Last year's were a lot more fun. This year's are probably going to be a little more informative because we don't know all these names very well. So let's get into it. Ravens, nose tackle, or now Giants nose tackle, Justin Ellis. So he's lined up here on this play. And again, we're just going to go through eating some double teams, which is what he does. So you got a double team here. You don't want to give up ground. And he's, you know, he's called Big Jelly for a reason because that meant one that goes with his name. But he's just big and he's able to not give up ground. So you see these two guys working, working, working. That allows for neither of these guys to come off to this linebacker, just eating up space. And you can even see he slips off. He slips off on this. And he's there to help make the tackle. Make a tackle. Like those those are gonna be the best Justin Ellis plays. Is eating up the double teams and being able to slip off to uh to to hit the to make a tackle on the running back or help on the running back. Here he's lined up right here again as a nose tackle. Eating up this double team. This is a good hip to hip double team by by the Vikings, but they're not able to come off of it. You see, he's able to throw fifty two to the ground. I mean, just able to get his hands, throw, extend those arms, throw them to the ground. Now this linebacker is unblocked, and again, he's helping on a tackle. Those are those are the best Justin Ellis plays. I want to play where they got some movement on him on this one. But able to throw that throw that play off, make a you know help help on a tackle. Again, lined up over the guard as a three technique on this one. Just eat a double team. Seriously, doesn't seem like much, but him taking these guys out of the play. I mean, when you're double teamed, like the the goal is to just get these guys on the ground. It's not to make the tackle. I mean, don't get me wrong. You want to split those double teams. But for Justin Ellis, the goal is to just occupy these two players without letting them get you upfield. Because guess what? Now this linebacker is unblocked. This guy's plan, these two's plan was to work up to this linebacker. Now he's totally unblocked. Totally unblocked. And it leads to a play. So this tackle over here. Is made is made happen. It, it was made by this player right here eating this double team. Lined up, uh, head up on the center on this rep. Again, is this some amazing rep? No, but occupies these guys. Now we got free linebackers. Flows with it. Ruins, you know, forces Dalvin the cutback. Well, guess what? These linebackers are here. They're ready. Just eating up these these double teams, splitting it. That's what Justin Ellis is going to do. He's not going to get you a bunch of tackles for losses. He's not going to get you any sacks. Um, but he is going to eat the double teams up and make plays for the linebackers. Here at the goal line for the Packers, they end up scoring on this play. But again. Low, good knee bend, lower than these two guys, not giving up a single inch. Don't give up an inch. 
Not a great job by the Ravens linebackers on this rep. Again at the goal line. This one isn't the best rep. They are able to move him, but it does occupy. It does occupy him to allow 56 to squeeze through here. So again, they're, you're not going to see these, wow, oh my gosh, look at these plays for Justin Ellis. But the these six reps that we just went through, that's what Wink Martindale is going to want him as. And again, this was a huge need for, for the Giants. Let's go through some other stuff that he can do. For someone who's as big as him, he's able to flow with the wide zone pretty well. Again, flowing with it, flowing with it. Forces a cutback by Aaron Jones. Not necessarily just him. But hey, this guy's trying to get his helmet across him. Able to move well enough. To just, just keep up with the play. Here. Same thing. Just flowing with the play. Running back's here. He's here. And if this wasn't, if the Ravens didn't bust up this play, well, Justin Ellis is right here. He's unblocked now. He's able to shed 72. Keeps those hands working. See that right hand underneath that shoulder pad. Bam. Good reps. So again, just, Justin Ellis is brought in to do. Everyone needs all eleven doing their job. Justin Ellis's job is to be, is to do these type, give these type of reps. Here in a, in a one on one situation, this is like the best you're going to get out of him in, in a one on one situation. And this is why he doesn't have the tackles for losses because he doesn't like dominate in these one on one reps. But just flow with it. Don't give up any ground. Able to. Flowing with the play. Doesn't give up any ground. One-on-one. -on -one. Here, lined up over the center. Nice tackle. Nice goal line stop. Bring those hands into the chest. Now his hands are outside of you. Keep your feet moving. Extend your arms. Now this running back, the Cook's got to cut it up. Disengage. Wrap up. Make a tackle. Stop a guy from getting in the end zone. Those are like the, those, that's the best example of, of a, you know, the one-on-one -on -one reps for Justin Ellis. Um, now as a pass rusher, this is where it's like the ugliest for Justin Ellis. He doesn't add anything as a pass rusher. Most reps are going to look like this. Again. He's not converting that power into these great bull rushes. He just doesn't. He doesn't have any speed. The hand fight is okay, but you don't have that speed to go with it. You can see how it's he's not able to, you know, keep powering down while using those hands. It's either an all or this is kind of an all or nothing thing for Justin Ellis. Lined up here on this rep. Again. He's not going to beat anybody with his lateral ability. So if he doesn't win the initial pop, it's over. Like that's that's what a, a normal Justin Ellis pass rush rep is going to look like. These are like these are what these are the wins for Justin Ellis as a pass rush, and that's why he gets no sacks. Like nice hands inside, keep the feet moving, choppy steps. The feet get skinny. Can I say this man has a giant ass? That's what they call him, Big Jelly. Rip through like that. That's a good Justin Ellis pass rush rep. Here lined up over the center. This is again, this is the best you're gonna get out of him. Just pushing the pocket back a, a few yards. This is this is a win for Justin Ellis. Lined up in the A-gap right here. Able to use his hands. 
nice nice hand combat to get that left hand under 76's right arm rip the right hand through but he just doesn't have the speed to finish this into a great rep so again you're, you're not going to get any production out of him as a pass rusher like he's I really think he's going to be a two, he's a two down player he is a two down player um, you know, Wink Martindale used him 40% of the time, 35% of the time the last couple of years. That probably will go up a little bit because the Giants don't have any presence at nose tackle. You know, their defensive line situation right now is Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams. Those guys are going to get a lot of reps. Uh, uh, Ellis will be the, right now, be the third guy. And then you have Raymond Johnson uh, filling in. But with Austin Johnson gone, Danny Shelton gone, good riddance. Danny Shelton gone. Like, this is a huge need. Um, you know, maybe they add somebody in the draft as well. But, Justin Ellis, I think, is in line for a lot of reps. So, again, like and subscribe to the channel. Share the free agent break uh, playlist. I really like the Tyrod Taylor one. I thought, I felt like that one was pretty well done, uh, especially I think that's the player that has the most wide like uh, range of takes on him. Mark Lewinsky is the most important one, and John Feliciano the other uh, most important one. So, check them out. Like, subscribe. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Let's go Big Blue.